Hey there, Louis Acabellis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can close an incident in ServiceNow. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now you can see here that I have an incident record open and you can see that I have a bunch of different fields displayed. I'll just scroll down here and you can see work notes and some tabs, etc. Now a very important note, before you try to close an incident or a ticket in ServiceNow, you wanna make sure that you're on the view that displays the tabs, related records, and more importantly, resolution information. Now, if you cannot see these tabs, what you want to do is you want to click on the hamburger navigation menu, and specifically, you wanna right click on this, and then you wanna click into view, and you wanna make sure you've selected the default view. That is going to display all of these fields that you see here, and that is going to allow you to click into this specific tab. Now, if you want to close or resolve an incident in ServiceNow, there's a few different ways that you can do it. First, you can click into the state field, and when I click on this dropdown, you can see here I have a bunch of different statuses. So depending on which status is appropriate for the incident that you're trying to close, you can either select resolved, you can either close the incident, or you can cancel it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and select resolved, but before I do that, I'm also going to draw your attention to this button at the top of the form here that says resolve. Now, if again, you wanna resolve the incident, you can either select it in the status and click update, or you can just go ahead and click resolve. Now, if you wanted to set the status to closed or canceled, then you would need to select those values and then click update. Now, I'll just go ahead and I'll click on this resolve button. And what you're going to see here is an error message. So you can see here that ServiceNow is saying the following mandatory fields are not filled in, resolution code and resolution notes. Now I'll scroll down and you'll also notice that ServiceNow just took me directly to those fields that need to be populated. So in order for me to resolve an incident, I have to come into this tab and actually populate these fields. Now, in order for me to resolve this incident, I'll have to click into the resolution code field and select one of these options here. So you wanna go ahead and select whichever one is most appropriate to you. I'm just gonna go ahead and select not solved, not reproducible. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put in a description in the resolution notes field. Now I'm just going to say that this issue is resolved by unplugging the equipment and plugging it back in. Now, if I go ahead and click resolve, you can see here this record that we were just in is now in a state of resolved. And I'll just go ahead and preview this record here. So you can see here, this is the same record that we just looked at and I'll go ahead and open it. And you can see here that this status is resolved. Now, again, you'll notice here that when I clicked into this record, I cannot see those tabs that we looked at. So again, I'll click on this hamburger navigation menu. I'll click on view and I'll click on default view. And that is going to display the resolution information. And you can see here the note we put in, this issue was resolved by unplugging the equipment and plugging it back in. So that's it. In this tutorial, I showed you how you can close an incident in ServiceNow. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobalas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.